Okay, we've got a question uh, about the day of Arafat here. Um, the sister says basically when I go back to India, um, the day of Arafat or the ninth day of Dhul Hijjah in Saudi will be the seventh or eighth day of Dhul Hijjah in India. So what do I do regarding my fast? How, what advice can you give us on fasting uh, the, the, the days that we need to fast basically? This is really a very, very important question which we used to face uh, in uh, North America uh, a lot. Now that goes back to the same point of differences between the scholars concerning the beginning of Ramadan. Mm -hmm. There are two main schools of thoughts in that regard. One school which they consider uh, the unity of the, uh, the, the Christian by the meaning. Uh, they say that if the crescent or the moon has been sighted, the moon citation has been sighted anywhere in the world, they believe that there is only one moon, which is true. That's mm -hmm. a fact. So if it's been sighted in Cairo, that means it's already been born. So the neighbor countries, such as Saudi Arabia, Sudan, Syria, etc., uh, they don't have to bother and make an effort. If they couldn't see the moon because of a cloud, because of uh, darkness or smoke, it's been already sighted. So everybody should follow the first country which sighted the moon, based on the fact that the Prophet ﷺ said, Sumu li ru'yatihi wa aftiru li ru'yatihi. And based on the same hadith, the other school of thought relied on, well, we could not sight the moon ourselves. And we are an independent country, or an independent nation. Mm -hmm. And of course, in the past, that the Meccans wouldn't have an access via phones or cell phones or satellite to know whether the Medina people have sighted the moon or not. And you can imagine the difference, the time difference, and how many uh, mile, hundreds of miles they have to travel before they get to, to know about each other. So they said that each country uh, has its own independent moon citation. And these two opinions are both valid. While we have to keep in mind one thing, the most important fact that we should really rely on the moon citation, not on the calculation. For instance, mm -hmm. this year, North Americans, Muslims in North America, uh, followed the calculations of NASA, etc., which they began fasting the same day in which countries have or were able to cite the, the crescent. That's good. If the calculations coincide and matches the moon citation, that's perfectly fine. But what if it uh, does not match, and does not coincide the moon citation? We give precedence to the moon citation because this is an act of worship. Actually, citing the moon in the beginning of the Islamic month, especially Ramadan, of course, the month of Dhul Hijj as well, is an act of worship. Citing the moon is an act of worship. So we give precedence to citing the moon. Same thing applies to uh, the issue of the day of Arafah, that one of my family members and one of your family members have gone to perform Hajj from India, from Pakistan, from North America, from uh, the Arab countries. They are all following the country which has the Kaaba, mm -hmm. right? The Holy Lands. So they say, tomorrow is the ninth day of the month of Dhul Hijjah. Then there, tomorrow is the ninth day of Dhul Hijjah. If other countries rely on the moon citation in this country, that solves the problem. But if they do not, and if this is their practice during Ramadan and during the month of the Hijjah, and say, we cite the moon by our own selves, and they could not cite the crescent or the moon, then if you follow them, you're perfectly fine. Unless if they say that we only rely on calculations.